All right, in this next session, we add uh, additional buildings, uh, the residential community around the school, and then we also add a perimeter wall on the east side of the school. So we go to the editor. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put in a uh, perimeter wall. So here is the wall element. And uh, the wall element, uh, the wall is about uh, six and a half feet uh, in height. So six and a half feet is uh, about uh, 1.95 meters. Uh, the height uh, will be constant. Um, we define a reflection loss on uh, the right and left side of one decibels. Uh, we can, it could be more conservative by adding zero, so it's a completely reflective wall. And uh, we zoom in, and um, so the wall starts from somewhere right here. And we follow the perimeter right here. And the wall ends, uh, I think, just about. Yep. Continues. All right, so we can maybe remove the last point. Okay, uh, so the next input are buildings, uh, additional buildings, the residential buildings here. So for this, we add uh, objects, uh, buildings. We uh, turn off the main building input, so these buildings will be um, kind of color coded uh, differently than the uh, buildings that we have right here. So we get started um, with the first one. We turn on the right, uh, rectangular mode right here. The building will be uh, one story high, so we'll put them at uh, about four and a half, four and a half meters. And uh, go around. Right, this building. Second building. Now here we definitely have to turn off our rectangular mode. Now in this case, we need to add an additional point. Right click, insert and uh, move point. So we add a point right here and then drag the point over here. Next, uh, next building.
as you see, it can, uh, you can enter buildings uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, so there's no difference. Oh. That was the wrong object. Uh, we'll delete that object. Uh, go back. Buildings. All right. Oh. Rectangle mode. And uh, we change and move that last point here away from this point over here. All right, at this point I'll uh, end the input. Uh, I turn on, uh, I save the, the files. And uh, that's actually one thing here, this, this building here. Let's change, turn that off to a main building. And um, in the uh, settings, color settings, I uh, Turn on the main buildings with a uh, turquoise and uh, all the auxiliary buildings, and then make the rest like a body turquoise. All right, we can uh, save this and we start the calculation, grid noise map, and actually we will do a uh, both single point and grid noise map. Calculation, single point, contour map. And so here you can kind of see the impact of the, uh, the wall in terms of the uh, shielding effect. Um, some of the receivers are behind the buildings. Of course, the noise levels drops behind the buildings. Uh, here we can actually uh, see that uh, we may have aliasing issues, uh, meaning that we our density of points is not good enough. Uh, right now we have a five meter grid. So one thing that you can do is you can change, actually the grid spacing is 10 meter. We can delete that and then uh, run it with a, maybe a two meter grid. So we have five times more, uh, of uh, 25 times more receivers. So I'll start the calculation again. And uh, so with this, we have a much higher resolution in uh, regards to the predictions. Uh, so every, every two meters, we have a, a receiver point. This is the second uh, run through, and then the last one which fills out the rest of the uh, of the pattern. Now here we can kind of see that uh, the reflections and then also the shielding effect of the buildings uh, comes out very nice. We have an increase in noise in this area, of course, due to the uh, uh, playground area, the basketball field with the reflective ground, and then also an increase in this area, also the, the parking lot. And of course, uh, we have just around the school building a shadow zone right around it uh, due to the shielding effect of the building itself. Uh, so here we can go back uh, into the graphic plot. Uh, here we have our single receiver locations, and we have our predicted contour maps, uh, in this case uh, daytime contour maps. And you can kind of see that, uh, of course, with the adding of the wall, the reflective wall, and the adding of the buildings, the, uh, the contours uh, is more, much more complex. And we see the effect of the reflections and also the shielding effect of these buildings around uh, the facility. Uh, that's all for right now. And uh, the next step is uh, we'll finish up the other uh, buildings and uh, maybe input a road for the traffic noise.